Hello and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Friday, April the 10th. This is going to cover the homework problems from lesson, I believe it's 9-5. I might say the wrong chapter number, but uh, this is the one working with problem solving with money. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Um, I've tried to draw a few pictures and so forth along the way to help us. So number two, they wanted us to use this uh, strategy uh, with drawing out the money. We probably could get away with not doing that for number two or number four, but I did it for number two anyway. So together we have um, uh, three people that have $4.44. So we are going to figure out how much each person gets. So um, we have, if we do it the uh, way that makes the most sense for what the actual amounts could be, uh, we could say that we have $4 bills, we have four dimes that are worth the uh, 40 cents part, and we have four pennies, but we only have three people. So we're going to have a problem when we get, get a little bit further uh, down the road here. So let's figure out how we would divide these up. So each person would get one of these. So person one's gonna get this one, person two's gonna get this one, Person three is going to get this one. And then we've got to figure out what to do with this. Person one's going to get this dime. Person one's going to get this penny. Person two is going to get this one. Person two is going to get this one. Person three is going to get this one. And person three is going to get this one. So we could do this part evenly, but we still have a dollar and 11 cents that we need to figure out who's going to get. So one of the things that we could do is figure out, can I divide any of this by three? Um, now, one of the problems that we're also going to have is pennies. Um, so I might be able to do uh, 111 pennies. I should probably pick a different color for this. If I did 111 pennies, and I divide it by three. I can count three times here to get 90, or excuse me, nine, and then I get 21, and then I get seven. So I could make the rest of these pennies and have 37 pennies so each person would get 37 pennies plus the one penny here for 38 cents, plus 10 cents for the dime, which would be 48 cents plus a $1 bill. And that should be $1 and 48 cents. Now, this problem would be much easier if we had four people. If we had four people, we could just divide by four and it would be incredibly easy, but we, we definitely could probably do this without using the strategy, doing $4.44 by, divided by three, um, but we will do that next year more than we will uh, do something like that this year. But I will show you how to do that on one of our other problems. So uh, number four, if Jesse saves $6 a week, how many weeks uh, will she, in how many weeks will she have saved at least fifty dollars? So if I am counting by sixes, I am going to be able to count eight times to get to forty-eight. So I am going to need to ha she would have need to worked the ninth week as well to save at least fifty dollars. So um, I'm going to switch to the thinner pen here. Um, so it should be nine weeks. At the end of nine weeks, she will have earned $54. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at number one on the back. And my apologies, um, Allie has been wonderful for helping me figure out if I forget to do problems um, or if I make a mistake along the way. Um, I think I only gave you guys number two and four on the front um, for as far as the problems on the front go. If I'm not correct with that, I can go back in and type the answers for the other questions. Um, I'm going off of a kind of a general uh, template 
as far as which problems we do for each lesson. And I know there were a few that I did differently, but I don't think I wrote those down accurately. So uh, this is one that we could use a regular division strategy for. So I could do 520 divided by four, I get one, and I have 12 for the next part. 12 divided by four would give me three. And then I am going to be finished with the problem because as soon as I bring down my zero, I will get a zero. So the other thing, we will do lots and lots and lots of this. So I want to at least introduce you to the idea of working with dividing. When we have decimals, you must put the decimal up top first. Ask the fifth graders how much I um, let them know that particular fact. So if I can at least introduce you to this idea, uh, that will make it easier. If I just if I did the picture part, um, we could end up making four one dollar bills, and then we would take the fifth one dollar bill and make it into dimes. That way we can do it evenly. So we would have twelve dimes, and each one would uh, get three of those. So it should be one dollar thirty cents. And number two, write a decimal that represents a value of one $1 bill and five quarters. So five quarters is worth $1.25 plus our $1. I'm sorry, that's a horrible looking plus sign. Um, actually, the eraser is going to blow away the whole thing. Um, so that would give us $2.25. So those are the homework problems. Uh, for that lesson, I have two more videos coming, so um, stay tuned for those. Um, one will co uh, go live at the same time as this homework uh, answer video, and then the other one will go live at 6 p.m. on Friday. So hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.